Hi, grade 5. Our new lesson is going to talk about how do animals grow and reproduce. Okay, this is lesson five. It's found on page 209 in your volume one in your science book. How do animals grow and reproduce? And here you have a question. It says, how are these organisms similar? How are they different? Okay, so you just have uh, a group of animals and you have some of them are older and adults and some of them are young. Okay, on page 210, it's talking about the vertebrates. So you need to read this page very well and highlight it all because it's very important to know. We already discussed vertebrates. That's one way that scientists can classify animals. Vertebrates have a backbone and they are showing you the different types of vertebrates. They're talking about the fish and their characteristics that they live So here in the first paragraph, you can see they're talking about the backbone, how it's separate and linked. It's not one solid uh, bone or else uh, you wouldn't be so flexible. And they're talking about the five classes or groups of vertebrates, the mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. And uh, all of these vertebrates are only 4.5 or 5% of the animals in the world. Remember, most of the animals in the world not So this is a summary of the main uh, points you have to know from pages 210 and 211. Read them well and highlight them. And here it's just summarizing uh, that uh, scientists classify animals into whether they have a backbone or not. These are called vertebrates and their bones are linked together uh, and flexible. And we have five classes of vertebrates. So here we have a summary of the main properties of the vertebrates, the mammals who have hair or fur and drink milk, birds have feathers and most can fly and wings, reptiles have scaly skin, they can be found on land and in water, amphibians like salamanders and toads and frogs and newts, they have smooth skin and they live partly on land and partly in water, fish, they have now on page 212, it's uh, the new lesson about invertebrates. They're called the spineless invertebrates. Uh, they're 95% of all the animals in the world. Some of them are very, very simple. Simple meaning they don't have lots of body parts. Uh, the simple invertebrates are coral, sponges, and jellyfish. And we have complex invertebrates. Complex means they do have a lot of This is page 213. They're going to talk to you about uh, the other groups of invertebrates. We're going to discuss them now, uh, the echinoderms and the arthropods, or the arthropods, okay? So we're going to talk about each group right now. Uh, after we're done, uh, you should read these two pages and highlight them. Okay, so the simplest and oldest uh, invertebrates are sponges or sea sponges. Uh, these are consumers, they're animals, they don't move around. Many, uh, many people think that they're plants, but actually they're not because they're consumers. So they're very, very simple animals because they don't have many uh, inner body parts. So they're really simple and they're the oldest invertebrates uh, to have existed. We also have corals. So sponges and corals are very simple uh, invertebrates. Uh, corals uh, make up the coral reef. So they're very beautiful and colorful animals.
The second type of invertebrates after corals and sponges uh, is the jellyfish and the anemones. Okay, uh, they're together in one group because they have a sac-like body. Their body is kind of like a blown up bag and they have poisonous tentacles. The jellyfish can swim around but the anemone uh, it doesn't. Okay, they have a mouth in the center of the tentacles uh, to consume and eat their prey. The third type of invertebrates are the worms. Worms don't have any legs. These are earthworms. They live in the soil and as you know they're decomposers so they break down uh, dead organisms and they return nutrients to the soil. The fourth type of invertebrates are the mollusks. Mollusks can have one or two shells, and some of them may not even have a shell, but usually if an invertebrate has a shell, then it's a mollusk, like snails, like you see here in the first picture, it's the snail. Next to it, it's called the whelk. They're also showing you the whelk in your book on page 212. Uh, they're very uh, slimy, but firm. Their bodies are not like An octopus and a squid are also uh, mollusks, but they don't have uh, any shells. They're the largest types of invertebrates and very intelligent uh, invertebrates as well. So the mollusks, uh, so far we have snails and slugs and the whelk and the octopus and the squid. These are the mollusks that have two shells. They're very slimy animals living inside of two shells, like the clams, for example. The fifth type of invertebrates are the echinoderms. Echinoderms is a Latin uh, name. It means spiny skin. So they're, they're animals that have spines on their skin. For example, this is the sea urchin. The sea urchin is an echinoderm. Sea stars or starfish are also echinoderms. We find these invertebrates living in salty water. And for example, these sea stars, they have five uh, arms. You can see them here in the picture. Now, number six, the largest group of invertebrates are the arthropods. They're the largest group and uh, they have um, uh, very important similar characteristics. For example, they all have body parts, several body parts. This is an insect, for example. It has three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So arthropods, uh, insects, and spiders, and crabs, and Jointed legs. They all have jointed legs, uh, meaning uh, their legs have many joints, as if it's divided into several pieces. So arthropods usually have six or more uh, jointed legs. Also, all arthropods, other than jointed legs and body parts, they have an exoskeleton. An exoskeleton means a hard outer body covering. Okay, it protects 
the arthropods because their bodies are very very creamy and soft on the inside yet they have this kind of skeleton on the outside to protect them now many people think that insects and spiders are the same are in the same group actually they're both arthropods but they're in separate groups of arthropods insects have three body parts the head the thorax and the abdomen while spiders only have two body parts here we can see its name is the cephalothorax and the abdomen so only two body parts for spiders insects have antenna on their heads other than insects and spiders crustaceans are also arthropods crustaceans are the hardest arthropods and they have the hardest exoskeleton like crabs shrimps and lobsters Also, this is the last kind of arthropods. They are the millipedes and centipedes. They have really long bodies and they have lots of jointed legs. And so uh, they are also arthropods, okay? The centipede is uh, poisonous. However, the millipede is not. Wow! Look at all those ants! Have you seen how they all work together as a team? But wait, what is this? Phew, I hope those ants weren't carnivore. Well, today I'm here to talk about a group of invertebrate animals, the arthropods. Do you know what kind of animals they are? You don't? Don't worry, I'll explain it to you in a jiffy. Arthropods are very different from one another, but they have a lot of things in common too. They have an external skeleton called the exoskeleton, which protects the soft parts of their body. Some arthropods shed their exoskeleton several times throughout their life. This is how they grow. This process is called molting. Arthropods have jointed legs. They use their legs to move around. Depending on the number of legs they have, we divide arthropods in different groups. Insects have six legs, like this ant. Arachnids have eight legs, like this spider. Crustaceans have 10 legs, like this crab. Myriapods have more than 10 legs, like millipedes. Arthropods live on land, in the water, and they can even fly. These are some interesting facts about arthropods. Arthropods is the largest group in the animal kingdom. They are more than 10 million different types of arthropods in the world. Massive! Did you know that there is an ant species which can lift 100 times its body weight? This is equivalent to a human lifting the weight of four cars. Amazing! And that is all about arthropods, folks. Cheerio! Could you name five arthropods that are not in the video? Leave a comment below. Will you get it right? Oh, to watch more videos, click on the seal and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't miss out the new adventures.